Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Shot 21 once again from learnhybridmachine.com Today in this video we are going to talk about how we can upload files in Playwright Now the moment you start working with web applications there will be many scenarios where you need to upload single file and multiple files So in order to show you file uploader I am using this sample application but I will also show you the real time scenarios where you will be using this concept Now in this application you will notice we have two kind of uploader one uploader is basically a single select for example if i want to select a single file i can upload right now this is a single select and one thing that you will notice this have a input tag so what i mean i don't need to click i can directly pass the file path here but this is another type of file uploader where i don't have any button the moment i click on this box and now I can upload multiple files. For example, I can select this, this. Sorry, I need to press control from the keyboard. If I'm using Mac, I will be using command. Now I'm able to upload multiple files, right? So we will divide this video into two parts. Part one, we will focus on if the file upload have an input tag, how we can pass. And in the second part of this video, we'll talk about how to upload file if you don't have an input tag. Talking about real case scenario, for example, I will take this scenario that if I go and create one course here, the moment I click on create a new course, you can see we need to upload thumbnail. So for example, if I create one thumbnail, one sample course, instructor Mukesh, let's say price 500, category, let's say playwright. This course is getting created. So I need to upload a file in order to create this. So it depends on the requirement. You will be uploading one file, multiple file. Right now I'm uploading PNG file. You might upload different type of file. Now let's see how to do this. As I mentioned, we will do this into two parts. Part one is if the input tag is provided. For example, if I right click on this and if I inspect this, you will notice this is the input tag and the type is file. So let's go back to Eclipse and let's quickly see how to upload a file. So I will create a class called file uploader. I will use public static void bin. Feel free to use unit or test ng. Now in order to start we need at least one browser. So I will quickly create playwright dot create dot chromium dot launch and i also need in headed mode so i will say new browser type dot launch option set headless to false i want in headed mode this will return me browser so let's say browser then i need a new page so browser dot new page and I got the page reference now in order to upload a file first I will open this URL so page dot navigate now pay attention this is the element right and here I need to upload file so please don't click on it we are not going to click we are going to send some files so whenever you find input tag and type equal to file, please do not use click because the moment you use click, it will not work. You need to send files. Here the scenario will be different where I need to click. Here I have a different method. So first of all, I'm going to inspect this. You can see input tag ID equal to file upload. So I can write one quick X path too. Or let's try with this file upload. So page dot locator. Since I'm using ID, I will go with hash ID. Now in order to upload file, we will be using this method called set input files. This is a predefined methods by Playwright. It will set the value of the file input to these file path or files. You can upload single file, multiple files. One thing which I mentioned already, this method will expect the selector that we are writing should focus on input element, which means input tag and type equal to file. And these are the usages they have given. You can pass the selector and you can use this is the older way to do is 
will go with the new approach which is this one so they have mentioned right use locator based instead this is the older one we'll go with the latest one which says you first find your element then use set input files and then you can use basically multiple files or single file so right now we are going with single file so i will use set input files you can see i can pass file payload file payload as an array file or path and path as an array we are going with a single path as of now so now the moment you say path we have a predefined interface and i can use this method called off and here i can provide which file i want to upload maybe i want to upload this file so i will get the information about this first of all copy this path and slash i will give the file see guys i'm right now i'm giving a file which is available in my download folder but you can keep the file in any location the best practices is you will keep all the files that you want to upload in your current root directory that also i will show you first let's target this part that's all now let's execute this and see so i'm not closing the browser because i want to show you this so you can see we got now this google search.png and this is exactly the same file which i have already given so file has been selected now i can click on upload this is part 1 again if i make any changes let's say i'm targeting a file which does not exist right now let's see what happens because this file is not available so the moment you execute you will be getting this exception call no such file exception so whenever you come across this it means you need to check the file path so this is what path we have given as i mentioned it's recommended that you create a separate folder now again you have two options either you can keep all the resources in the src test resources resources basically means you need certain files in your program maybe you need certain files to upload either you can keep in src test resources or you can keep in a separate folder so i created one folder called files i can copy and paste here so i use command c command v now i want to use this file so i will simply rename this google search image.png see the reason why i'm recommending to current working directory uh, once you're done with a project you will be running through ci cd pipeline you will be running on different cloud so that time if you give this kind of location which i given just now will not work right so if it is in a current root directory you can easily locate and pass the path here now if i remove this so this is my current working directory right so i can use system dot get property and this is predefined property called user dot dir so this will be give me current working directory now i want to navigate to files so slash files then i want to provide the path which is this so slash this now if i go ahead and execute this will be the best solution because you already have file in your current working directory and yes this time it took this google search image.png now this example which i took is for single file upload unfortunately this application which i'm using supports only single file upload if the tag is input but in your case if it is allowed to have multiple files you can upload multiple files how to do that let me show you so again i will use set input files and notice this time we have path array so right now what we did we created one single path right now i can create path array and this array will have all the files so what i will do first of all let me create this path array 
So I'm assuming that you are comfortable with array concept. If not, then you might have to visit my previous Java videos. So here I will say files. And now I can provide multiple files. So first file is this. Now in case if I have multiple files, what I can do, I can provide all these paths. So let's say this is one, two, and I just need to pass this files here. That's all. So you can comment this. And right now this application supports one, so I cannot pass three, but whether it's one or hundred, the concept will remain same. To show you this part, I will comment I'll remove this additional two and let me show you how to pass this files which is nothing but a path array of type files so let me execute this and yes uploaded exactly the same image because th the image is the same instead of using single path I used path array of type files now there's a quick bonus for those who are watching the video till the end. See this is the example that we took, right? So we have seen this part. Now this is select multiple files. What they're doing is they are directly passing the array here, array object. What we did, we created separate uh, object and then we are using. If you don't want, you can directly say new path array. Curry bracket open and close. And now you can pass multiple paths. For example, this is one. Let's say if you want one more, you can pass like this. Comma separated by comma. So one, two. As, as I told you, this application does not support. So I'm just going to keep only one which is this. So let me comment this part. So we are going to find this particular file upload, set input files. We are creating path array and we are passing only one file. Let's execute. And yes, it uploaded. Coming back to let's say if you want to select a directory, the concept will remain same. You can select a directory as well. You just need to provide the directory path. By any chance, if you want to remove all the selected files, you just say new path zero. It's empty array. Okay, so in this case, same example I'm taking. And I will use here zero. Since I'm using zero, I don't need to pass the values here. So in order to show you this, I will put thread dot sleep of maybe 3000 millisecond, which is three second. It means first I will upload the file. After uploading, I will wait for three seconds and I will just deselect the values, sorry, deselect the files and execute this. Yeah, it uploaded after three seconds. It's going to remove now the last one is upload buffer from memory this is actually a very unique feature provided by playwright what it says you can upload directly from uh, memory for example you want to create a file on the go you want to type something you can easily do that with the help of file upload class so what i mean if you use page dot locator set input files you can see you can create single file payload, multiple file payload. You can create, upload any buffer directly from the memory. You can change the encoding. You can change the data. You can change the file name. So in case if you have such requirement, please use this. Okay. So quick revision before we end in this example, we have seen that if I have to select a single file, I can directly go with set input files and I can provide the file path. This example, we are talking about tag is input and type equal to file you are we are not going to click we are just going to call the set input files and we have provided the path you can directly provide the path of any directory any files so what i did i created 
one folder called files in my root directory and then I uploaded the file so this is the path we are providing now if you have multiple files then you will be creating path array of files type where you can create multiple paths which is basically file which you want to upload right now in this example I have one you can have multiple once you're done you will be passing this files reference here if you directly want to pass this path array call the set input files new path bracket and you can keep adding multiple files last thing if you want to remove all the files you just say new path zero so it will deselect all the files so this is part one in part two we'll talk about how to upload a file when we don't have input tag which is this scenario okay so that's all about this video i hope this will help you if you face any other issue let me know in the comment section and if you're new to this channel then do support share this video with your friends colleagues subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care